So turn to page 45. These are the principles that we're looking at. The purpose of ventilatory strategies is to recognize first and foremost that breathing goes with movement. So if it does, how can I try to integrate breathing with that movement so it's efficient and fluid, the breathing and the movement? So if they're raising their arm up and holding their breath, <gasps> or blowing out, it's going to present a conflict. So how do I bring those together? These are the principles. First thing is thoracic spine. That's the first thing I look at. For the motor task, they're reaching up, they're doing a wheelchair transfer, they're getting dressed, they're serving a volleyball. Whatever the motor task is, what does the thoracic spine need to do to complete that task? If the thoracic spine has to go into extension versus flexion, so extension would be naturally paired with inhalation or exhalation. Inhalation. Because when you open the rib segments, you open the volume inside that drops pleural pressures. It creates physiologically an inspiratory moment. So if you don't use inhalation with it, you're just wasting an opportunity because that would be physically and physiologically the natural parent. So I'm going to look thoracic spine extension versus flexion. If I go to reach down for my shoe to put my shoe on my foot, what happens to my thoracic cage? Okay, it collapses, compressing the air, which increases pressure, and that's called an expiratory flow. So when I go into flexion, that is naturally paired with exhalation. When I go into extension, it is naturally paired with inhalation. 